Good morning, praise the Lord, and a happy Sabbath to one and all. Uh, uh, today, my topic for uh, feature talk is a subject that's gaining a lot of importance in today's uh, healthcare world. And I would like to give you a small information regarding that because I believe each and every one of you here believes that our body is a living temple of God. And uh, that is reason enough to t for us to take our health seriously. So uh, coming to our topic, the topic is that uh, many of us in many situations we have had that uh, gut feeling that I have a gut feeling this is not right or I have a gut feeling this is not going the right way. Uh, we have that butterflies in our tummy feeling when we are excited, that, that tingling sensation when we are nervous. Now in all these situations, these signals are sent by your body from a very unexpected source your second brain or your gut. Now, uh, for those who are new to this term, I would give you a small brief on uh, what is gut, what is the gut health and what you can do about it. Now, the gut uh, means your gastrointestinal system. Basically, your stomach, your intestines, your colon. And uh, the health of this system determines your gut health. Now, to understand the impact of gut health, uh, let's understand the function of gut. So what happens is when you eat your food, your gut digests it and breaks it down to the most basic parts which is absorbed through your gut wall and distributed using your bloodstream. Now this whole process is regulated by the gut by using millions of nerve cells, hormones and a very important category of group of living microorganisms that is microorganisms meaning fungus uh, virus bacteria more significantly bacteria and this uh, bacteria the name bacteria would ring some red flags but we are talking about the good guys here like if there is a bad there is good so if there is bad bacteria there is also good bacteria and it is this good bacteria that is determining your gut health so if there is a good balance of a good and bad bacteria, you can say you have good gut health. Now, uh, we all know we are all covered in uh, bacteria. We have a set of bacteria on our skin. There is a set of bacteria in our mouth. Similarly, there is a set of bacteria in our stomach that is doing a lot of functions for us. And an imbalance in them can create a havoc in your health. Now, not just digestion. Your gut health determines everything about you like the way your brain thinks, your risk for heart diseases, the clarity of your thoughts, your immunity, everything is affected by your gut health. Like for if you take digestion itself, for example, a lot of nutrients like the vitamins and minerals can only be absorbed or synthesized and um, taken up by the body with the help of these bacteria. The enzymes given by these bacteria will only help you in uh, getting these nutrients into your body. So a good balance of healthy bacteria in your gut means a good digestion, better nutrition and better physical health. Another important function of your gut is it is lined with millions of nerve cells that form the enteric nervous system that communicates with your brain through the central nervous system. And a lot of neurotransmitters are synthesized in your gut, like the serotonin, the dopamine, the GABA. All these are called as the happy hormones. And it is the gut that synthesizes these happy hormones. So it's also called the feel-good hormones. So uh, if you're not having good gut health, you will have lesser production of these good hormones, which will lead to poor mental health, which can lead to anxiety, depression, and all sorts of behavioral issues. So if you ensure you have good gut health, you can ensure you have good mental health. Your immunity, your immunity, a lot of your immune response, the levels of your inflammation, etc., are all determined by your gut health. Now, what can we do about this gut health or what is it that we can do to improve our gut health? For that, we need to feed our uh, good bugs. Like uh, uh, predominantly, every, a lot of factors that um, control your gut is mostly in what you eat and your lifestyle choices. So 
you have to feed these good bugs. You have to feed the good bacteria. Now, what is the food that this bacteria requires? It requires wholesome, naturally fiber-rich food. This bacteria will feed on these indigestible fibers and thrive. So you can make sure that this there is a good balance of uh, good gut bacteria if you have uh, naturally uh, wholesome fiber-rich food. You, and you don't have to eat anything out of this world or expensive or exotic for that. You can eat the simple food that God has given like your banana, your rice, your sweet potatoes. All are fiber-rich and your bacteria would love it. Next, what you can do is you can add to the mix of this bacteria. You can have more fermented foods in your diet, more uh, food with live culture like yogurt, curd. Now, fermented food, because of the increasing interest in gut health, there's a lot of new fermented food entering the market. But we don't have to go to all that because we have our very own uh, tra ancient traditional um, fermented food that is our parangani. It has a lot of fermented, uh, fermentation and a lot of good bacteria in it. So you can just go back to all these forgotten foods and improve your gut bacteria. The next is to eat a lot of variety of foods. Like stop eating the same food every day. Uh, make sure you eat a variety of rice. If it is rice, different types of rice, different types of vegetables and fruits, different types of pulses. Uh, recent studies show that if you take the gut of a city dweller and if you take the gut of a, a forest inhabitant in some interior parts of Africa, you can see that they have a very richer variety of gut bacteria than the city dweller. It is because of the lesser exposure we have to variety of food and germs. So uh, if you have more variety of food in your plate, you have more variety of gut bacteria. And the next one is to say no to unwanted use of antibiotics. Like, when do we use an antibiotic? When we are sick and we want to feel better and we want to get cured. Now, when does an antibiotic work? An antibiotic works when the sickness is caused by a bacteria. And it kills the bad bacteria. Also, it kills the good bacteria. Now, what if your sickness is caused by a virus or a fungus? It will not work. You are doing uh, more harm than expected and you're not going to get any cure out of it so what is happening is you are going to kill your good bacteria and you're going to uh, reduce your body's ability to cure and come out of that sickness so next time you get a cold or a common cold or, or a viral infection make sure you don't just pop an antibiotic for the sake of getting cured go to a trusted healthcare professional go to a good doctor get the antibiotics if it is needed and um, uh, if it is a viral, take the medications that are meant for viral and not the antibiotics. Okay, in case you have to get an antibiotic, make sure you have a lot of natural wholesome fiber rich food so that you can replenish the lost sources. The food for bacteria is called as prebiotic, that is your rice, your bananas, your sweet potatoes, all those fiber, they are called as the prebiotics. And the live culture, the replenishing the culture is called as probiotic. The food that is rich in all the live culture is called as probiotics. So once you have a dose of antibiotics, make sure you have enough of prebiotics and probiotics in your diet to get well soon. And the next one is say no to packaged, processed and artificially sweetened food. These are nothing but empty food. They just make your food stomach full and nothing else you don't get anything nutritious out of it there is no fiber for the bacteria to feed on there are no nutrition nutrients for the body to absorb it's just going to make you sick in the long run so the next time you're hungry and you reach out to that packet of biscuit or chips give that banana a chance it's as simple as opening that packet of biscuit or chips it's as simple as open just peeling it and gum yeah so think twice the next time uh, you're hungry, think of your gut bacteria and make sure you have wholesome natural food so that uh, you are in the best of your gut health and you can have the best of your physical and mental health and be of more service to God and mankind. Like uh, 1 Corinthians 10.31 says, what, uh, whatever you do, whatever you eat or drink and whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Thank you.